Hi everyone, ready for Vlogmas number 13. We made it through the first half. We've got my new advent calendar with some smaller bottles of wine, so they shouldn't be building up in the refrigerator so much, so that's going to be good. And um, yeah, so today we are going to be doing an Ipsy a sale that I ordered on October 11th. It probably came in by the end of October, maybe the beginning of November, and it's just been sitting here waiting for me. There's so much in this bag and it costs $47.32. I think when you see everything that's in this bag, you're going to be amazed. But then of course we all know, hashtag Nancy has no idea when it comes to skincare. So I hope that you stick around and join me and then help me with these products. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to Mini Vlogmas number 13. I, can you believe that we made it through the first 12 days already? I've got my second wine advent calendar. This one is smaller bottles, so I appreciate that. So they won't be building up in the refrigerator because those other bottles, although it's really nice to have the bigger size, they kind of built up I and mean, I don't want to drink that much to have a whole bottle every night or yeah, so it's nice to have a small bottle. <coughs> my cough is pretty much back um, around the clock again so we were going to try to fight our way through this so anyway we'll start by the ugly Christmas sweater of the day these things bring me so much joy yeah so we've got Santa Claus and some kind of red maybe a band he's got some reindeer in there with him we've got an elf flying off the back we've got some glittery presents some pom-poms the glittery tree it doesn't get much uglier than that, does it? Well, you've seen the one with the cat, so yeah. They, they, they can be pretty bad. But anyway, so to start my mini Vlogmas, uh, we are going to do this Ipsy. And I ordered this like in the middle of October. It may have been delivered um, before Halloween. It may have been delivered right after um, the 1st of November when I started to get sick. But anyway, this has been sitting here just waiting patiently for me to open. It's chock full of stuff. I just took everything out of the little plastic bags. Everything in here was like a kit. There was no single items. They were different duo kits for $5. The most expensive kit was $12, which is just amazing. Everything came to like $47.52. I think you're going to be amazed when you see what's in here. So let's try to go through this real quick. I don't have any of, you know, and I know I probably would have printed my receipt when I ordered it, but I'm sure it's buried someplace in here by now. So a couple of these things, like I said, they came in kits. So I got two of these extra bags. So they're these little vinyl bags, both in silver, got beautiful kind of emerald green lining in here, green Ipsy tag. So we got two bags. We got this um, from the Vintage Cosmetic Company. It's a, one of those little, uh, facial makeup removers that you don't need to use soap you can just use water even though you can do it like that I still use my soap with it but I I do love using these this is a smaller one it comes with a carry bag so it's great for travel and if you happen to leave it behind in a hotel room you're not going to feel so bad because it's well it's just a little one and it came in a kit that was probably less than five dollars so this, I don't remember what the kit was on this one, but it was 111 skin. It probably would have been one of the kits that was $12. It says it's a hyaluronic acid. <coughs> Sorry about that. Aqua Booster. And I think we all know that this is an expensive brand. So to get it for in a kit for $12, I think that's pretty good. We've got a ton of mask in here too. And... Um, this is a, a different foundation. I've never tried this one. This is Yenza. It's a beauty cream corrective. I don't know what that BB and CC means. You guys probably know what it means. So it's full coverage foundation. It's got eight super black essence, which I have no idea what that means, and an SPF of 40. And I got uh, some of this last fall or two falls ago and it was uh, by the Yensa brand and it was a facial mask but it was like kind of oily and it, it was like oh what's this going to do I ended up loving it I bought it a few times as extras love it so when I saw this I thought I would give this brand a try first of all this probably 
could have been in a kit for twelve dollars could have been a kit for five dollars so if it doesn't work for me then it's like no big deal um next i saw this from seraphina and when i got it because the first Serafina thing I got was that Apple Balm lip mask that I absolutely love. I bought some other of their lip masks after. Nothing compares to that Apple one. That one was the best. When I saw this, I thought this was another mask, lip mask, but this is a primer. So it's pink guava and primer. So I'm excited to give that a try. And then also from... Um, so uh, like a lip color that I thought looked really kind of light and uh, might have to give this a try it's might be a little darker than my comfort zone but we might have to give that a try so just a little lip lippy here I'll try to take all the mask out out at once so this one other than this one so this is a self-warming eye mask from starry eyes So it warms up in 30 seconds. There's five of them in here. So thought we would give these a try as well. Um, we got this moisture boost from is it Tony Moly or Tony Tony Molly? So it's got cooling algae. It's an eye serum, so that's a really good size for eye serums because, yeah, you don't need much on your eyes, and it seems to last forever. Alrighty, so this is the last of them. So this is all these masks. So we've got papaya, papaya. We've got a peach one. Upside down. Because, you know, it's better than seeing things upside down. we got the cream shop here. More from the cream shop. Got these alien looking ones that were probably going to be fun for like Halloween. Uh, witch hazel. Another one. And two watermelon masks. So all that for 40, what is it, 47 dollars and 32 cents. I think that was pretty amazing. So excited to finally be opening these. I can put them away and start using them. Alrighty, so now we're ready for our Advent, um, our Advent calendars. And I forgot to show you my coffee from the other day. Last night I pulled um, the Swiss Miss hot cocoa and I did have that when I was editing. I decided not to put any alcohol in it. I just put a little bit of creamer in it to make it extra smooth and creamy, a little bit of whipped cream, and it was good. But the coffee that I had pulled the day before that I didn't pull out and show you was this from the donut shop Duos. It's white chocolate and vanilla. Oh my gosh, this was amazing. This was really, really good. Love that. So the one that we pulled for tomorrow, it's Pete's coffee. So it's not a flavored coffee. It's just a regular coffee. It says it's a dark roast. So we will try that in the morning. I will probably have to add some extra creamer with this one. Oh, it's noisy inside. Maybe they're all noisy. Maybe I just never shook them before. Alrighty, so this is my advent calendar from Sip and Savor, and that was that fun one that I got for um, Halloween. So I was looking forward to trying this. So this is a Cabernet Sauvignon and a Syrah red blend. So I'm excited to try that. So happy holidays, California. Just a cute little label. I'm not sure if it's going to tell us anything on the back. Have a happy and safe holiday season. Alrighty, I can live with that. Alrighty, so let's... And it's a twist-off cap, so... I should have pre-opened it, sorry. Because sometimes you're going to see me make faces. Alrighty, so we got my Nutcracker glass. Oh my gosh, this smells really, really good. Oh, I don't want to put that... I'm going to put it here and hope I don't spill it. Alrighty, so happy Vlogmas number 13. Cheers, everyone. Oh my gosh, this smells really good. I kind of got some mixed emotions about what I'm sniffing. So I can smell fruits, of course. I can smell like blackberry. I can pl smell plums, um, maybe cherry, maybe a little bit of licorice. 
I think I'm sensing something soft, like maybe they've added something with vanilla, maybe to tone the flavors down or to help them blend. But I'm feeling like I walked into a cigar shop um, or a pipe shop. I know Rick used to every now and then when he would try to quit smoking cigarettes, he would smoke pipes. I, aren't they all the same? I don't know. But he had some that was like a black cherry tobacco that smelled really nice, but you could still smell that tobacco. And I'm kind of getting that kind of scent from here. So anyway, cheers everyone. Mm. It was so good. I didn't want to swallow it. Isn't that bad? Yeah, so it, it's, it's, um, it's on the drier side again. So you're going to feel that dryness, but the flavors, they are just, oh my God, it's just so good. I just can't believe that I was afraid to drink red wines before. Boing, who knows why, but oh, it's so good. Like all those flavors that I just said, they're in here. They, it is just, oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm going to have another sip and then put this down and then I'm going to probably shut this off and have a coughing fit. Alrighty, I'm back. Yeah, that was a bad one. So I'm glad I was able to shut that camera off. It's, uh, yeah, the coughing's coming back pretty full force, but that's okay because I've got my wine. I've got you guys. So we have couple of truffles left. Oh my gosh, I don't know which one to do. We'll go for the one on top. And again, these truffles were from Quilty Mom Trish and Alex. They're just really nice friends, YouTube friends, which it's just so amazing to me still that you can meet so many wonderful people here on YouTube. And I mean, you know, I know there's different channels that have drama going on and and you know you get trolls every now and then and just people that are downright mean but when you meet someone genuine it means the world to me so thank you to my genuine friends so anyway here you go mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. it's sweet obviously it's chocolate kind of taste like a mix between chocolate, peanut butter, and caramel. I don't know if there's a mix like that in here, but this is what this one tastes like, unless the wine threw my taste off, but it is really good. It's really special, and I am just so excited to have you guys stop in and visit and spend some time with me again, and um, yeah, your support is amazing and um yeah so i feel so blessed and so lucky to have you guys in my life and so i think i'm probably going to try to edit this i got to start packing up um the box for lois and uh yeah so we will see you guys tomorrow bye bye everyone